Hey, what's up? So, uh, today I don't have my lights. Um, I got a little bit of a different setup. I'm on my, I'm sitting on my bed right now just because I'm in the process. I'm also, not that I dress nice, but I'm in like a t-shirt that I slept in just because, uh, <laughs> uh, I'm in the process of moving. And so I'm very busy and I'm like, I didn't get really have time to put the whole thing together. And so I figured the important thing is getting the review out. And so this is going to be a review of, uh, let's do Red Rocket. I watched this uh, recently. It's, uh, I'm pretty sure, still standing as like the newest comedy from A24. Um, I'm not going to go into the plot because I, I've done that in previous videos and I feel like anybody clicking on this video knows enough about it for me not to have to tell you about it. So I was going to give you my opinions, which uh, first and foremost, uh, it was funny. It was good. I think um, Simon Rex is somebody who was like, this is the kind of movie, same as Uncut Gems, where like, it was completely dependent on the typecast for that main part, where it was like, they made this movie with him in mind. You know, it was like, uh, Uncut Gems, they were trying to get out of Sandler for like 10 years because they were like, he's the only guy, he's the only guy. And he was like, no, no, no. And with this, it was like, I heard the story from Simon Rex. He was like, that they randomly reached out to him for this. He was like, the phone wasn't even ringing. I wasn't getting any parts. And they reached out to me and we're just kind of like, in the middle of COVID, we're like, let's come shoot this thing. Um, and so I'm under the impression that they had him in mind, which good, because there's no other actor I could see playing this part convincingly. I believe this was not just the character, but I believe this was Simon Rex. I was like, this seems like this is just who this guy is. Um, so great casting choice on that part. Um, Movie, uh, opinions about the movie, uh, this is the guy who did, um, Florida Project, which is one of my favorite A24 films, I think, he's just, and he does the same thing in this, he has this just talent for, um, making films about just everyday life in these areas of the world that some people don't know about, you know what I mean, where it's like these less fortunate areas of, like, Florida Project reminded me of, like, where I grew up in my actual childhood, and... So for that, it drew me in by me connecting to it. And then with this, I did, I'd never lived in Texas, but it drew me in the same way, but different where I was like, I've never seen this, but like, I feel like I'm living it now, or it doesn't seem like I'm seeing a slice or whatever. It was like, he is able to encapsulate the energy and the presence of an, ex an entire community. Um, and that also goes with his casting, that he casts non-actors into these movies and actual people from these places to give it some sort of uh, authenticity, which I think... I'm not sure if he's the first person, I don't think he's the first person to do that, but I think he's the first person to be consistent about it, and I think it works for him. I think it's a super cool stylistic thing. I'm all about directors having a style and having something specific to them, and this is his thing, and I love that. Um, actors, like my opinions about the casting and everything else, the performances, again, like Simon Rex, amazing. Uh, I think it's so uh, honest in what it is that I feel like that's why it's not getting like... I know I got a Spirit Award nomination, but outside of that, like, it's not getting critic stuff. And I was like, because he just falls into this so easily, the same as, like, Uncut Gems, where it's, like, it's almost too believable, where you feel like, you're like, damn, like, he's not, <laughs> I don't know. Like, I love it, but I was like, I can see why critics look at that, and they're like, this almost seems too much in his wheels, where it's like, he's just so good, which is stupid. And I just look dumb saying that, but he's very, very good. And I think this is, like, the best part he'll probably ever have for himself. The, like, maybe the last lady ever gets. He's not really usually a leading man, but, um... Simon Rex, very, very good. Uh, outside of that, I think his wife is very good. I think that Strawberry, which funny, I watched this with my girlfriend, and we have a friend that looks almost identical to Strawberry. And so for a lot of it, we just kept pausing and going, like, oh my god, look at this, and like pulling up pictures. And so not that her performance wasn't good, but it was like, that's the most memorable thing for me, is I was like, oh, she looks like somebody I know. Um, which I guess also goes hand in hand with like the fact that they're using real people. Um, not sure if she was real or she real but like not sure if she was an actress or not but um she did good she i use this a lot but she understood the assignment she played that part to a t and created a well a real person but also i think she was probably the least realistic person in the whole story i think she was a little bit of a like caricature in some ways but i also know there are people like that where it's like she's kind of over the top about not over the top but out there um Really, the only performance that stuck out, and it's rightfully so, is Simon Rex, because it's a it's a uh, character study for sure, and you're following him the whole time, he's in every single scene, it's, so really all they needed was for him to hit the mark, and he did that, and then some. Uh, going into final opinions, 
uh, I like the movie. I went in only making it a point to watch this because of the hype around it, because it's not getting a lot of awards play, but um, everybody was hyping up, and so like usually I just watch things in the awards circuit, because that's my thing, because I don't know, it just is. <laughs> um, and with Red Rocket, it was more going off the hype, which I think there's at least one movie a year that I fall into that where people love it so much. And I think that hurt it a bit for me, where I was like, going and expecting it to blow me away, which same thing happened with Uncut Gems, where it's like, it took a while for me to really appreciate it, because after the first watch, I went, this is good, but like, I don't think this is like, movie of the year at all, and I have a lot of people like, it's my favorite movie, and people were like, friends of mine were texting me, being like, this is gonna be your favorite movie of the year, like, you're gonna love this, this is totally up your alley, and it was, but at the same time, I was like, yeah, but it could've done a lot more. Um, so I think it was good, it wasn't great, I don't even know if I'd say it's really good as a full, as a, as a whole. Uh, but Simon Rex was great. Uh, but as we all probably know, great performances don't always add up to great movies. Um, uh, favorite part? Simon Rex, as I said. Uh, which I honestly expected to be the directing, even if Simon Rex is good, because I like this guy's the uh, Florida Project so much, I assumed that this was going to have the same feel. But I think the directing was good, but it was a little more simplistic and fit the tone. Uh... My final grade for it was a 4 out of 5. I mean, I'm over here like, yeah, it's good, it's not great, but I give it like a 4 out of 5. I give 4s real easily. It's getting above a 4 that's hard for me. It's staying below a 4 that's tough for me because I only usually watch stuff that I know is going to be at least okay quality. So if you get annoyed with the fact that I'm only giving like a 4 and up, it's just the nature of the beast because I don't watch bad films because I have a critical mind and I'm an egotistical douche in that way where I'm not going to watch stuff that I think is beneath my... <laughs> making myself look terrible by saying this. I don't mean it like that. Um, I just watch stuff that I feel like is going to at least intrigue me in some way because I don't want to waste my time because I'm easily, I will easily check out of a film if I'm not at least intrigued by some part of it. And so I only watch stuff that I know at least one thing will keep me in it. Uh, and so yeah, it's hard for me to find something beneath the four because I usually look at stuff from like, all right, even from the trailer, I can see like that would put it around that area for me. Um, but yeah, final grade is a four out of five. Red Rocket, I would suggest going to see it. I don't know if it's in theaters. It's probably in select theaters now. Um, Simon Rex is very good. If you don't know him, you're probably going to see him and go, I remember him from something, but I don't know what. Um, but yeah, I think you'll enjoy it. I think it's a good movie. Not great again. Four out of five. Red Rocket.